I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, James McAvoy, Halle Berry, Ellen Page, Peter Dinklage, and the Fastbender star in X-Men Days of Future Past. Let's go. If you start quizzing me about how every character nuance and timeline hop in X-Men Days of Future Past relates to the overall X-Men universe, I'd probably get booed right out of Comic-Con. But I will tell you this. This is a periodically confounding, occasionally profound, and consistently entertaining sci-fi thriller. Charles. Good to see you too, old friend. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Nearly a decade and a half after the release of the first big screen X-Men adventure, the franchise has found new life. Days of Future Past opens in an apocalyptic present day with Kitty Pride, played by Ellen Page, Iceman, played by Sean Ashmore, and Halle Berry Storm, and a few other mutants fighting valiantly but badly outmatched by the seemingly unstoppable machine beasts known as Sentinels. I was sent here for you. From the future? 50 years from now. <laughs> Can you give me that one more time, please? Stay with me. With the mutants on the verge of extinction, they come up with a plan right out of the Terminator playbook. Hugh Jackman's Logan slash Wolverine will be sent back to 1974 when Jennifer Lawrence's Raven slash Mystique killed the architect of the Sentinel program, which set off the chain of events that almost led to the almost certain demise of all the mutants nearly a half century later. So what Logan's going to do, he's going to alter the time-space continuum. Simple! There's a whole different look and feel to the cinematography, the shot selection, and the overall tone of the 1970s sequences. There is a new enemy out there. You'll need a new weapon for this war. The great Peter Dinklage is magnetic, playing Dr. Trask, the scientist that heads up the Sentinel program. Like so many characters in the X-Men sagas, Trask is either a deeply flawed kind of good guy who thinks he's making the right decisions, or a villain that actually makes some pretty good points. Look, kid, you and I are going to be good friends. <laughs> Jackman's a great big movie star and he does most of the heavy lifting in this movie and he carries the film most of the way. But even Jackman, Fassbender and McAvoy nearly disappear from the screen during the extended cameo from Peter Maximoff, a.k.a. Quicksilver, played by Evan Peters, who can move much faster than the human or even mutant eye can comprehend. This guy is awesome. X-Men Days of Future Past is a great looking film with a dozen first-rate actors taking the material seriously but also having fun flexing their superhero powers. Hardcore fans are going to love all the inside nods and the many cameos by characters that have been or will be front and center in other X-Men stories. But even if you're just an occasional visitor to the X-Men universe, this movie works as a standalone story. This film has it all. I give it an A. I'm Richard Roper. You get all my reviews at Reels.com and at RichardRoper.com. Wolverine.